Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be decluttering and organizing this dressing room. It doesn't look terrible from the surface, but the drawers and the closet are an absolute disaster. So we're going to be getting rid of the old to make room for the new today. And I am super, super excited to be partnering with Tradesy in this video. So thank you so much Tradesy for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have not heard of Tradesy, they are an online website where you can buy luxury items at a discount and they are the place to sell your luxury items that you don't wear anymore to make some extra money and make room for new in your closet and that is exactly what I need to do I actually got a little luxury item from Tracy that I'm gonna like unbox with you guys in just a second so I'll show you guys that and then I'll show you guys what I'm going to be selling on my Tracy shop page I actually have my sister Amanda with me today she hey. is here <laughs> to help me organize because I was just like this is more than a one-person job yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's really bad you guys once I show you guys inside the drawers it's gonna be like yeah it's really bad so Ooh. let me show you guys what I got from Tracy little luxury unboxing not gonna lie I already opened this up but I just wanted to give you guys the full effect so can you guys guess what it is I got a little spring wallet on chain so this is a gucci little blush wallet on chain you guys it was originally 990 dollars i got it for 570 it came with a little dust bag inside i'm trying to show you guys what it looks like on the inside it has like a little mirror and you guys the quality is amazing i don't see any signs of wear anywhere at all i think on the pictures it might have had some on the corners just like barely but it's in such good condition. Let me show it to you guys on. It's the most perfect blush pink color. It's perfect to just throw on when you're running errands. You can just throw your necessities in there. And yeah, I think it's perfect for spring. I'm so excited that I found it on Tradesy. This inspired me to sell a couple of items that are Gucci in my wardrobe that actually I just don't get the wear out of. So let me show you those. You might have noticed my new gold shelf. It's a little bit wider than my last one, literally the exact same design and style because I loved it. I just needed more space. As I was organizing all my luxury items, I realized I do not wear my Gucci loafers enough and they were very, very expensive and they just need to go to a better home. Home. So I'm going to be selling both of these on Tradesy. Both of the Gucci loafers I have are in pretty good condition. I've worn the pink ones a little bit more than the black. Literally, the black ones I think I've worn maybe a handful of times, like probably not even five times. I just think I was trying to follow trends and I didn't realize that like it just doesn't match with my wardrobe. I hardly ever wear black shoes or black in general. So yeah, they just really need to go to a better home. I'm a size 9 US and these are a 39 EU. So if you, any of you guys are interested, these will be on my Tradesy shop page. What I loved about Tradesy is they make it super simple and convenient to sell your items. It's literally a three-step process. You take a picture and write a description, you set your price, and you make a sale. It's so easy. I also love that they have the Tradesy app, so you can literally do everything from your phone. You can shop the website, and you can sell all your items directly from your phone. Their shipping options are super convenient as well. They either can send you a free USPS shipping label, and you can package it up yourself, or they have a free Tradesy shipping kit that you can use and it's really really nice because the buyer pays for shipping so you don't have to worry about it they also make it super convenient because you don't have to worry about returns it's just literally the easiest way to sell your luxury items and make some money and make room in your closet for new so definitely check out my shop page I will leave it down below so you can see what I'm selling on Tradesy and check out the Tradesy seller page so you guys can start selling your items as well it is so easy so let me show you guys the skincare and the makeup because that's the worst part this is all supposed to be makeup on top which isn't horrible but it just needs to be cleared out skincare overflowing literally haven't touched any of this in months this don't even know what's in here and then the camera equipment that's supposed to be down here is just an absolute disaster this is my everyday makeup drawer you guys yeah this is really really bad Remember when I had organized it back in the last video that I did? Yeah, that did not last very long. Okay, plan is take everything out, go through it all, figure out what needs to be kept, what needs to go, and put everything back. That so, sounds easier. Let's go.
Okay guys, it looks so much better, but my brushes are disgusting, so we're gonna go clean those now. I'm in the bathroom, about to clean my brushes. I wanted to show you guys this little brush cleaning pad. It's so nice because I used to just like clean my brushes in the palm of my hand, which is like not ideal. And this just makes it so easy to just like swirl the brushes around on this little textured mat and it cleans it so well. I literally just use dish soap. I try to use one that doesn't have like any like harsh chemicals or anything. If you have sensitive skin, this may not work for you, but I have had no problems. Here are all my brushes and beauty blenders laid out to dry. I'm so happy that they're clean. They haven't been cleaned in an embarrassing amount of time. This is actually the faux beauty blender that i am obsessed with it literally has almost the exact same texture when wet so i will link this for you guys too i wanted to show you guys the progress for my everyday makeup drawers wish i had a better system of organizing like if i could put little like acrylic trays in here to organize better but it's just so shallow of drawers that they really just there's just no option for me to do that but i have all of my face products on this side and then i have eye products and lip products on this side tweezers scissors um, sunscreen and my facial spray and this is pretty much i mean obviously don't use every single product on a daily basis but these are my most used products had to take a chick-fil-a break <laughs> and a little leo break for some reason he's not happy <laughs> even though he ate and he's been outside we are going to get started on this chest of drawers here so Wish us luck, cause this is like the big, <laughs> the big project. Progress is donate pile here, trash pile here, and it's a lot better. I have just everything that I'll actually use, and we even have just like some empty space now. And then the skincare drawer looks a lot better too. Just kept everything that I actually love and things that I will use and donating the rest. We also organized this drawer. I still have all of my like cosmetic pouches and things for travel and stuff. I even added these jewelry organization trays. They're like a cream velvet. I'll link them down below. They also have them in a really pretty light gray, but I don't have a huge jewelry collection. I just have like a little minimal collection of bracelets, necklaces, and a few little rings. This is the last section that we have to work on in this room is this closet. And it's just got, gotten kind of out of control with me filming and just bringing clothes in here that just don't really need to be in here anymore. So we're gonna clear out the clothes that need to go back to like my actual closet. And then also I want to organize my hijabs because I have probably a hundred hijabs in here. <laughs> Like not even kidding. I actually ordered these pant hangers and I have found that storing my hijabs like this is the best way for me. It's just the easiest without making like creases. If I was to like fold it, I just hate those like lines in my hijab. So I ordered a bunch of these and I'm hoping that all my hijabs will fit on these. progress we basically just have my hijabs to do which will be kind of a project but i wanted to share this with you guys i found my stuart weitzman over the knee boots they are a really gorgeous charcoal gray with a block heel but you guys i never wear these i think in total of me having these in my collection i've probably worn them literally a handful of times and i'm not sure why that is i think maybe because i just don't wear this color a lot or they're actually kind of hard to like take on and off so they're a little bit of a hassle but these will be going on my trade z as well i have all of my coats these were out on my clothing rack that's like kind of out on display but i'm not really reaching for these that much right now and i'm trying to like move into spring and this is the hijab like i am not even kidding you when i tell you i have 100 hijabs or probably more i want to show you guys how i actually place the hijabs 
on the hanger like this. You have it in half like that. Then you have it over the hanger and you just bring this, this fabric through the loop. And then you pull it. And I'm not sure if you can see that properly, but. Yeah, <laughs> it looks really it? good. It's super easy once like you do it once, you like will be able to do it with all your hijab. It's super easy to kind of like see the colors and just grab the one you want. I wanted to show you guys the final result of the closet. It looks so much better. I have not seen the floor back there in probably since we moved in. <laughs> look how good the hijabs look. This is so much more effective for me and I can see everything. All the neutrals, I put the blacks and the whites and the ones that I don't really wear that much towards the back. Thanks to my assistant. It's not really not assistant. Easy work, guys. It is not easy. I feel so bad. Amanda no, was here all day helping me. Honestly, like it looks so much better and it's just so satisfying to see. I know. Like, kind of wish we had <laughs> yeah, I kinda wish we had done the color like coordinating, like you said. Yeah, but, but we were too tired. To yeah, do that. We, there was just too many hijabs to deal day. with. I mean they're all neutral anyways. <laughs> Shades. Different shades of pink and brown. Yeah. It's the next day. <laughs> Amanda and I were so exhausted last night. This room has come such a long way. Amanda was such a good help yesterday. I can actually breathe in this room again. Give this video a thumbs up if you like organizational videos like this. Thanks again to Tradesy for sponsoring today's video. I will leave a link to them down below. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.